The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour on this Friday, the 19th of July. Uh, just past mid-month. And what are we looking at? We're looking at the Dow making. Uh, this, is, this is beyond belief. It is just incomprehensible how it could happen. 41,376.00. Zero, zero. I bet if you ran a scan and you had to see how many days, you got four opportunities, the open, the close, the low, and uh, that's four opportunities within a 100-point uh, uh, point, uh, move where you can go 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.3, or 1.0, 1.2, all right? So uh, it's incredible that at 41,376, the high, the all-time high so far, and this is the second day since it's actually the first day since it did it, but it's fascinating. And I, I, I love this because when I used to hand chart, I used to circle any time there was a 0% change or an unchanged, absolute unchanged. Um, and, and it's not often. It happens rarely. And uh, we're looking at the Dow right now down almost 200 points. This is the first sign that says the Dow is leading with the IWM. This is the IWM right here. And the IWM went to 226.64 three sessions ago, had a lower high yesterday, holding quite nice today, up 24 cents at 218.20. This is like seeing the Russell iShares 2000 small caps ETF. It broke above the left side high that I was looking at as a uh, resistance that was this bar that goes back to, well, let me just give you the exact date right here. If I can get this mouse. Oh, let me just change, change mice. I always have different mice here. Okay, at least they're not the real thing. There it is. Okay, so we're going to go to this bar right here. Look at it. This is the one that I used for my left side, right side price time match. It wasn't the midpoint, but it was a point that I chose as a fulcrum for the left side uh, price to come down and then go back up to the same price. And that was in January of 2022. The open was 223.71 in the IWM. And we went to 226.64 three days ago. It was in this month, and we went above it. We have not closed above it. But the tacticals have improved tremendously in the weekly. On balance volume isn't close to being overbought. It's running. The stochastics at 83%. The MACD is good. So in my webinar on this, this coming uh, Tuesday, I've already started because we're looking at from now all the way through the next couple of weeks, we're looking for entry pro, uh, entry points, either short or long. Mostly now I want to be looking at the long side. We have a short position, but I'm looking more at the long side. And I want to put together all these different patterns that I talk about consistently. Now, the weekly chart of the IWM could be an alternate count, F slash B. I really need to do that because uh, the nine period moving average did not go pink. So it means that this is still in an up move. And therefore, I need to say there's a chance that we're going to make a peak F, but I think more likely this is a new leg B and that we're going to go to a C and a D in the Chapman methodology from a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode. There's every opportunity that it should go to at least four higher peaks. It did that here. It actually went to five, but it went to four higher peaks. Then the stochastic pulled back in the weekly chart back in April, May, etc. Then it came back strong and it's looking quite good. So here we are, up 40 cents at 218.35. So we are long. We try to add another long, and we had a, a, a. We just got stopped out, and it's a shame because I would have liked that extra long. We've taken two little bits off for money management, very nice gains, and we, now we've taken a little bit of a loss, uh, just on a on a trading position, and I'm going to be I'm be going. I, I'll see to it that our my subscribers to my opening call. 
how we get in again is going to be very important. But I think that the IWM of the Dow are going to hold pretty well in this particular phase. So what's weak? At this particular point, the S&P is stuck between the Dow, strong Dow, and the very weak semiconductors. So I go, I'm going to the SPX, but I really need to go to the SPY because this has got a little problem. But first, I'm going to say 5669.67 was the all-time high. Went to peak F. Uh, I could give it an alternate count, but I'm not. I'm just calling it an F because it went right into the Chapman Wave inside track. I'll be talking about these this methodology. There's one particular technique right here where you draw in parallel lines, little narrow lines like a channel, but a mini channel. It's within the larger channel. Look, we went right to the base of this particular uh, trend line that's parallel to the upper trend line. But that inside track repelled the price. That inside track in the weekly chart has so far been a magnet and then it repelled the price, but just a little bit. The monthly chart, I have to say, we, it's a monthly chart. I can't even talk about it as if we close. Uh, the bar is still active right up until. Uh, what's the last day of July? It is the 31st, Wednesday the 31st. So until Wednesday the 31st, this bar is active and it's gone right into this very long term. Can you believe this? Very long term, all the way from the low of 666 back on March the 9th of 2009. I've used this trend line. It worked very nicely over here at 4818.62 on the 1st of January. Uh, that was uh, January of 2022. And then a pull back to 3491. That's a pretty big pullback. And lo and behold, we're right back there. We bumped into it a couple of times. Oh, right there. Yep, that's it. So now what we're looking at is this could be an instant restart or it could be an E with a, with a sharp decline. I think we're in a consolidation phase, and that's what I'm calling it right now. To go with that, the QQQ has been much weaker over the last since it hit 503.52 around about the uh, 12th or so of July, and now it's come back quite sharply. I drew in this left side, right side price time match to that midpoint, and that was, I should tell you what the date is. The date is right there, the 10th of uh, July, and we hit it exactly yesterday. We went right to that level, and it's a little weak today, down 50 cents at 478.92, and um, that's the QQQ, but the QQQ is also very dependent on the SMHs, which are down 3.25. We are, we are, we've been negative the uh, uh, semis for a while now, and now it's breaking under the 255.66, sorry, uh, rectangle base. And now we looking to see, does it go just above like it went from 279.57? This is the semiconductor ETF. Uh, on the 20th of uh, June, uh, when it popped up on the 10th, I think it was, 11th. On the 11th of July to 283.07, it, it just briefly did that, and now it's back down, and now it's under. Is this going to just have a couple of bars and then go back into the rectangle? That's what we'll find out. I think it's a little more serious. It's going to take a longer. I think this is going to be a peak D in the weekly chart. Chapman wave the fourth highest peak, peak Ds, where other things can happen, like, yeah, it was a potential instant restart. And here it's a peak D with a doji candle and it's turning down. So with that said, I'm going to come back and I want to show you something very interesting. I'm going to go to Microsoft. I drew this pattern in ages ago, really ages ago. It's the Chapman Wave Stalk Peak Formation. Here it is in the weekly chart and here it is in the daily chart right here. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. Now is down 201. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So let's just get back to this. So there's a technique that I developed years ago. It's a particular pattern. And basically what it says is you follow the price. And the price of gold doesn't matter but the number of peaks, but it's kind of almost not a quite a straight line, but it basically looks like it's one big move to the upside. I treat that as the leg. Here's Microsoft, weekly chart. And then the pattern goes into an oval pattern. It is absolutely not a rectangle. That has a different connotation altogether. It must, if there's even a question, don't even bother with it. But it has to look just like uh, an oval, and usually it goes to a D and then it pulls back. And then there's a spike, and I drew this in. The pattern, this is the pattern, Travel Wave Stalk Leg Formation. Leg, oval body, uh, let me just use the pointer, neck, see, so yeah, a stalk stands on one leg, then it has the oval body. The neck can be long or short, but it's, the neck pops up, and then the beak is quite long. And the beak then goes into the body, so I said, this is the pattern that we've got, and I didn't want to do any change of uh, technique we, or tactic. We long from 338. We've had, had fabulous trades in the whole 360 area, and then we just kind of sat by and held the long and took little bits of profits off. But what we've, uh, sorry, big profits, but little bits off. And then what we did is, we waited and waited, and then it spiked up. Here's the weekly chart, but look, here's the daily chart. And the daily chart ran all the way to 468.15 on the 5th of uh, July. Then there was this tiny little doji, and then there was a round number, 487.00 open. And it said, okay, watch this closely, because if it closes decisively over 457, you can go quite a bit higher. Instead, what happened was it started to take a dive. And I said, this is the move that says we've now got the beak. So there's the beak that I drew in the pattern. And here's the beak unfolding. And what I'd said is the rule of thumb in the Chapman Wave methodology, this particular technique, 
And remember, I have a plethora of techniques. You won't read about most of them. You will not read about in Stocks and Commodities magazine. I've never sent. I've always been prepared. I've had it all ready to send. And I thought, ah, why should I do it? Spent my years and years and years developing these techniques. I don't know. I just got to throw them out there. Uh, I don't need it. So what happened was I said that the oval high of 433.60 on the 23rd of May, that's the first target. How it deals with that is going to be really important. What is the low today? 432. No, no, no. It's not 432. It's 432.00, a round number low. And after everything that's happened, I've still got one of my services, my trading, one of my trading services. I can't get to it because they've been impacted by this global, they, I call them this global thing uh, with millions of customers and uh, et cetera, et cetera, and different uh, companies out because of the Microsoft breakdown. And yes, Microsoft down 25 cents. What did it do? It went right to the 432 level. Now, what I was going to do for subscribers, I was going to say, let's put in a bid between 433.60 and 431 um, and just see if we get it and then see what happens. But then I decided, you know, that's a little arbitrary. I, don't, I never know where it's going to stop in the oval pattern. That's number one. And number two is when the oval pattern then goes to a buy signal or at least it, it flips to a positive, it's usually a very, very powerful move to the upside. So you don't want to miss that at the same time. You don't want to be early because this is on its way down. This is the beak. So I'm just putting this out. Fourthly, it hit the target exactly. It did exactly what we wanted, but we haven't done anything with it. I think there's still plenty of time. It's training at 440 uh, right now. If it's going to change direction, then you've got plenty of time to get in for another move to maybe uh, a higher high. But at this point, I think it's more digestive phase that you've got to respect. Okay, so that's one one technique that I'll be uh, talking about uh, on my, sh on my in my webinar. But it applied to the same thing here. I drew this in. I said, we're going along because this is a pattern that I really I love. It, happens, it doesn't happen very often. And when you can get it right, it is very successful. So CD is co-mining. Here's the pattern. I drew it in. Look, here's the leg. There's the oval body. There's the neck. There's the beak. And here it is. Leg, body, neck. The neck was rather long. It was almost a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. And it went to, here's another technique in the Chapman Wave methodology. You'll never see this anywhere else because people don't use the Chapman Wave methodology uh, in their own techniques unless they're using it from what they've learned from my, my technique. So, it goes to 6.82. It pulls back and it retests at 6.82. So in Chapman Wave methodology, we're always looking for a D, but I get a C1, C2 if there's a parallel high or just underneath it and then a sharp pullback. And the technique says that if the, um, on the left side, if the right side isn't as strong and you pull back very sharply, that gives you your beak. Well, what's the beak target? It has to be 6.05. What's the low today? 6.02. Okay, so we're long. I didn't want to mess around with the long. We're taking a little bit off uh, for for money management. We got uh, two positions. Both positions are still in, and uh, this is CD. It can it can take us out. That's no problem. I'm just saying. So far, based on the daily and the weekly chart, it's still looking good. And there it is. If it's going to be a one-to-one, -one, it's another technique where the oval, because in the weekly chart, in the daily chart, it's, it's an oval. But in the weekly chart, it's really just more like a circle. That says it could be a one-to-one. -one. And what would that one-to-one -one do? It would say it can go to a six point, uh, let me just give you the, if it takes out uh, $7, it can go to the seven, Mm, right here, there it is. It can go to the high that was made back in 2021, December of 2021. And that is at, oh, wait, that's not right. There it is. At $7.64. 
It's only at 6.37 right now, but it did hit 6.82. So, all right, these are just techniques that I want you to talk about, and they're techniques that I will be discussing, not in great detail because I've done it so many times here, but I will be discussing it, and then I'm talking about the stocks that we are very interested in. Now I can go to something else. Let me just do this real quickly. The XLK, which is the S&P Select Tech Spider Fund, made this inverted V-shaped pattern or arch formation, testing the left side low. It's going to be very important how it handles 222.36, the low of the 24th of June. The low yesterday was uh, 221.55, so it took it out. It tried to rally, and today it's a little bit lower. It's down 98 cents at 223.40. Uh, areas that I'd be looking at, well, first of all, let me do this because I haven't finished everything I want you to do. GDX. GDX had a really sharp move down to the 14-period uh, exponential moving at 36.79. That, that line is at 37.05, so it went under it. And now it's back at the 9-period moving average of 37.52. And you can see that these Friday, it, it's not always Friday, but a lot of Fridays we've had the gold just smashed to the downside. So let me show you what's happening with gold. It, it did the cup formation. It ran above the left side high of May. It didn't close above it. And now we're deep into the mid part of this cup formation. And that's going to be very important because it makes 2380. Very important support number at 2401 right now. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down 260. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until July 22nd, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when purchasing Tiger Dollars, now's your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until July 22nd, so lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technicians Hour is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. 
Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. So a couple of questions came in, and I, I'll deal with them one at a time. Where is the support in the IWM? Um, I, I'll, I want to know what the close is today. The day is so young. Anything can happen. As mentioned in the den, this is one of the greatest number of, let me just give you the exact quote. Uh, I've got it right here. Not that. OPEX days are always tough. No, it's not that. Uh, where I, I saw it somewhere over here that this is one of the greatest well, I'm not going to find out or waste time other than it's a huge expiration day on options expiration. Uh, and it's it's the third Friday, right? July. Yep, third Friday. Uh-oh, did I just lose my? No way. I, I, I just tell me if I lost my, uh, it sounds like I just lost my internet. Nope, now it's back. Uh, is it back uh, in the den? Yes or no? Just put in sound or no sound? Just put in S. Somebody put an S so that I know that it's going. Or my engineer, let me just check. Uh, you're sounding, okay, good. All right, uh, my ears going in like I, I'm losing my internet. And I did overnight, of course, like everybody else. And it's going on and off and on and off. All right, well, no, no problem. I think we've got everything cool right here. Okay, so IWM, I'm just going to say that if I'm correct about the rotation, um, thank you very much, about the rotation, through different sectors, it says that the IWM, as long as it holds, I don't want to see it break 212. And right now it's at 217. It had a low of today of 216.62. Uh, I'll go into it tonight. All I'm saying is that I want to wait. I don't want to be early. I do believe that this is a one off for the Dow and the IWM, but it's way more in the SMHs that the SMHs are going to be negative for a while and that money is going to drift slowly and then increasingly into other areas. And those are the areas I want to identify. So if you're interested in looking out for weeks, maybe even a couple of months, we want to go one step at a time um, to see how this resolves and how it can resolve, that's going to be really important. And these one-offs like this crowd strike, I mean, a one-off in the sense that it had, it's had an incredibly negative effect throughout the world in terms of, like, can you imagine? I, it didn't happen to me, thank goodness, but if you were trading and you were in a position and you were just stuck, imagine if you were stuck, not yesterday, but uh, the day before, and you had that huge move, 700 points down in the Dow, and you were, oh, great profits, great profits, I want to get out, and you, got out, and you couldn't get out, or you had to cover, and you couldn't cover. And then today it continues. Terrible. That's why I always have to have a backup. I've got to back backups, but I don't want to go to them. I just, I'm, I'm, it's not what I'm doing right now. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Now, what I am going to say to you is, um, look, hack. It's an area that I've we, we have not gone back into. I want to do, and I missed it on the way up when it hit the 200 period moving average and the 59 area. When it ran all the way to the 66s, that's a pretty nice gain. But you can see in the weekly chart, the left side is 67.48 on the ninth, the week in the 9th of Feb. Look how technically strong it was. And then look what happened on the right as it's gotten to this high that was made just the other day in the 66.43 area. And now it's trading at 60, uh, 63.79 after peak F. And this is decidedly going to give at the end of the day a sell signal. Not a sell mode yet, but on the daily, a sell signal. It says there's some vulnerability here. We should go to a D in the monthly chart. There's Prime Cyber Security ETF. And look at that beautiful high that was made. I used a phantom peak to get there. But back in, I think, January of 20, uh, maybe December of 2021 or January 22. And then it comes all the way down uh, from the uh, 60, what was it, about something around 67 or so. And it comes down to the 39 area, 40 area, and it goes all the way back. Look, in the left side, right side, price time, it does it almost to the month. 
And look what happens. It hits that number and then it pulls back sharply. And then the most recent rally to the 66s is um, seeing a pullback. So this is saying it's making a cup and a handle, not one of my favorite patterns. But if you can get the low of the trough as it starts to turn to the upside, that's a fabulous rally because it can go to the leg D. So, yeah, all of this, there are a lot of things I'm looking at as potential. All right, potential. Now, look at this. Our AIQ, which we've been long forever, hit an all-time high. Oh, I think there was a G. I must just double-check here. Yeah. So it hit this high. AIQ is the Global X Artificial Intelligence ETF. Where it is right on the uh, July the 11th. It hits 37.18, pulls back one day, and then goes to 37.18, double top, 37.18 times two. Wow. 37.18. I would like to add to this, but I have to put it together. Look, it just today it's crossed S, meaning it's in a cell signal, maybe even an upgrade to a cell mode if it takes out that left side low, um, and but only a C in the uh, weekly chart. So it should go. It shouldn't take out the 31's key support in this particular move down. So I'm looking at this and I'm putting it together with what? Microsoft. Because Microsoft, of course, AI, um, it's really important. And here we are. Microsoft had the same thing. Made a high a little bit earlier on the 5th of July, 468.15. And today it went down to the left side of round number 432. So there's a lot going on here. And I think that this is, I know there are a lot of people saying this is it. This is the top. I don't see that at all. I see internal strength. As long as I see rotation. Of course, the 700 and something point uh, slide yesterday and the Dow from an all-time high is not a happy thing. But when you look at it, it's nothing. It's just an eye blink. You know, look, it's done that before. If it follows through like that peak D top at 40,077 on the 20th, then it can go quite a bit deeper. And I think there is a chance that it's going to test the 40,000 level. 40.064 was the is the 200 period exponential moving average. And the weekly chart having gone one to one, more than one to one to the upside, says, yeah, you can go back into the rectangle. So that's why I'm saying I don't want to give you um, what I think is at this point uh, a good support in all these areas that I'm looking at as positive because I need the day to conclude because I want to look at those weekly charts. It's really important that you don't anticipate, that even if you're doing something like with the E-mini, uh, you, you, on a one-minute chart, as I would be doing right now, um, that's just the start of something. That doesn't mean to say that that green candle pushing up like this. Look, you have to wait for the pink nine period moving average to cross positive over the 14 period. And then you want a confirmation that this is really a leg A and then a peak A and then it must make a B. But in the big spectrum of things, look at this 10 minute chart. Look at this large rectangle. It's like the inversion of when I say to you uh, overnight from four o'clock you can very often see a very narrow rectangle move. We had that in the E-mini, but it was at the bottom, just off the bottom. And now what we do? What did we do? We tried to test the low that was made at 3 o'clock yesterday in the E-mini, which is at 55, 55 right there. Can we get it before the break? 55, 70.25. Today's low so far is 55, 72.00. I'll be back. That was down too fast. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. 
But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the fund involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So, so a couple of questions so for, for subscribers. I had a number of questions uh, asked about uh, what is the stop on the on, on the on the, uh, the short that we have. Um, keep it at the entry price. I want to give it room. I was going to say if it hits this level, take a little bit off. No, we waited so long to be able to get this particular one right that I don't want to mess with it. So we've got the stop and prepare to break even at worst. But so far, it's fabulously uh, higher. Um, but uh, one step at a time, you know what I say. Until you get that first step, you can't go to the second step. And that's the way we want it right now. And that's the same thing that I'm saying on the IWM. What is the support? Visually, I can see the support, but it doesn't know that. It could just take it out. So I want to I want to make sure that all, all these positions are holding well, and that's the way it is. So another question came in uh, about the um, – I've, I've been talking about KRE – and I'll be talking about this in my webinar. Look how it's holding here. It's up 28 cents at 55.99 S&P Regional Banking ETF. Look, I mentioned this, uh, how well it's been doing. Look at the XLF, big dip from the all-time high and, and just above 44 yesterday. And today it's down at 43.07, uh, down 22 cents. Actually, I should say just a visual dip, but in fact, in price, it's really not very much. And as long as we're getting the financials holding well, I like this. I think that this is telling me that we have it. If everything, I mean, if the XLF right now was down, um, if the XLF trading at 43 was actually below this 42.49 high of the 20th of, of May before it made the cup formation of the beautiful, look at that perfect left side, right side breakout. The number of bars on the left from the 20th of May at 42.49 to the low of the uh, 14th at 40.37, equal exactly the number of bars where it broke out above 42.49 and has continued to do that. That makes that area really important support. What I am trying to point out is that just as we had the S&P doing so well um, and the IWM doing so badly, now there's some kind of a reversal where it's a, a digestive phase in one and a beautiful move to the upside with just a mini breather taking place at this. So you've got the same thing in the XLF and the KRE, the uh, Regional Bank ETF. And I could go through many other. Look at this. Uh, the um, uh, I'll just go to the SMHs right now. Look, SMH down very sharply from the 283.07 high, trading at 250.17 seen right now. And look at Intel. 
Intel. Nobody even wanted to mention the word Intel. I remember Dave White at one point said, oh, they might be getting something together that could make a difference, but I don't see anything in it. He said, oh, way, way back. And it did have a rally from the 24s in October of 2022 to a high, most recent high of, uh, it actually went to the just over 50 back in January of 20, uh, I think it was January of 2024. And then it dropped very sharply to where it went to this key support here. Look. Look, I drew this in, a little a little base, a rising very what is about a three degree base, a four degree base, not even three degree. And it it held, 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 and then it had a big spike up to where? Peak F, just on the two hundred period moving average, which it hadn't even touched since the April the fourth in the daily chart, when it was up in the uh, uh, forty area, and it plummeted down to uh, under thirty, and here it is, bounces to thirty sevens. And it's trading right now at 32.99. Wow, I mean, big sharp pullback. But what I'm trying to point out is the rotation through the different sectors is something that you've got to be aware of because it says not everything in that sector is either weak or strong. And that's really what I wanted to point out. Okay, so we need to do this. I, I don't want to run out of time. TLT pulling back, that means yields are going higher. Uh, it went to this inside track repellent zone. I'm actually going to raise it. I like to do this so that because the chart is the chart, and it says in this particular trend line, if you do just a little mini trend line under it, that is a very sharp repellent area, and we're seeing it right now. Um, uh, not very sharp, but sharp enough to, to go under the 200 period moving average. So the TLT at 93.08 is down 39 cents. The dollar. So people have asked, do you have short-term trades, long-term trades? Well, we are long the dollar from uh, 2018 at 90.07 via the UUP. We have ran it all the way up and taken little bits off on the way up to all-time highs and then all the way back down and held our stop and then ran again. The last time was 114.78. This is a moving target. So let me just double-check. 114.78, yes, back in September of 2022, and it's pulled back. Uh, there are a couple of reasons why I've held it this long, uh, but at the same time, I it's just gone sideways basically after that huge top. It isn't breaking down. It isn't breaking out. So this is very important because if it does start to get from 104.32 right now into the 105s at any point in July, I think that's going to have a negative effect on the market. But right now, there are other areas of the market that are really – portending uh, some problems. Look, USD JPY uh, ran all the way up to 160.86. I think that was the high back in early July. Had that double top and is now down the 157 area. The EUR USD, that's the euro currency pair, um, had a very nice rally, did a beautiful cup formation, went right back and then took out the left side high that was made back in June. And it went all the way to the July high of the 16th or whatever that was of 109.48. And now it's pulled back just a little bit. But it went right there. And I mentioned this at the time, the power. And I'll talk about this in my webinar. We're going to be looking at what stocks, where, where would be good entry points, why, what to stay away from, what is underlying all of this. And what are, what are the implications? I will be talking politics, but only politics as it relates to the market and sectors. That's uh, that's what I think you should do. Remember, knowing changes their mind. I've watched this stuff uh, in the den for the last 20-something years that I've been here at TFNN. Not one mind has ever been changed by anybody. You can say whatever you want. Nothing changes. What I am going to say is I know the power of the press. And that whoever is going, if Biden steps down, whoever takes Biden's place will get full page coverage every minute of the day, every hour of the day, 24 7, so that they can pick up the kind of uh, notoriety you need. And notoriety doesn't mean negative, it just means familiarity to be able to become a name. You've got to, to be a name, you've got to be out in the boondocks. Somebody has to say, oh, yeah, so-and-so, because they had never heard the person before suddenly hearing the name. That's what that's the power of the press, and we'll see. That's what happened with Obama. You remember, he was a senator that most people just didn't know of, but he got full press, 
And that was really powerful. You can't pay for that. That's just something that happens. So that's going to be very interesting. And that's what I'm going to talk about in terms of the market. I don't talk about politics. I just know nobody's. I, I know this from family members. No one's mind ever changes. So you can say whatever you want. Think it. You don't have to say it. Um, okay. So within this context, what we've got is the VIX index, the VIX.X. There we are. Volatility index had a huge. There's something wrong here. I, I don't know if this is correct. No, we've got a we've got one segment to go. But what I do want to say is that the volatility index is steep to the upside. For the Dow, it was to see this happen on the Dow in the, in the, in the same day. But it's not. It's based on the New York Stock Exchange. So if I can remember it, I'm going to go to the VXO. I think it is, and I'll be back in a moment to talk about the Dow. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. In this final moment, uh, I just wanted to say, look, the VXN, which is the, um, for the, this is for the uh, NASDAQ. The, this is called the uh, volatility index. It's called the exact thing is called, if I can read it. They make it so dark. Uh, 100 uh, index, 100 volatility index. Oh, that's all it's called. Has had a big move up, peak A. There's another A right there. Uh, B, C, it's in leg D, and it's at 21.37. I don't know about the spike. It went down to six. I don't know if that's correct. So I, it's it's confusing. And I don't have the VXO, which I think I used to have years ago for the uh, Dow. It's a pity. I had the one that went to 80-something uh, in the volatility index for in October the uh, 19th. 
1987. All right, so let's just do this. I'm looking at this, and I think that this is a very orderly, it doesn't feel like it, but I think it's a very orderly digestive phase. I'm also thinking that my technicals so far are all very strong in my weekly charts. Even the uh, sharp pullback in the SMHs, look at this. Look at that red candle in the weekly chart, and yet the line is still way over the 14. So that says we've got selective strength, and we've got digestive uh, a digestive phase going on in some areas. We've been uh, we've pinpointed those areas, and that's what it is. So for my webinar on Tuesday, I'll start off tonight when I do my video uh, for subscribers. It'll be about an hour long, and it'll be followed up on Tuesday. But in the meantime, anything we can buy, we're buying. I'm not waiting for Tuesday. We can do it Monday. We can do it Tuesday morning. So and I all prices. I love to go to uh, low price. We have uh, stocks in the single digits, double digits, triple digits doesn't matter at this particular point i'm looking at what works if caterpillar at uh what is caterpillar 348 made a peak t if it looks good it's going to be in i'm i'm not interested about that in the meantime we've got one that is um look at this that's uh, uh, in the steel area so uh slx is holding quite nicely in the steel area that's the e market breakfast ETF. So have a great weekend. Check out my opening call and check out the video, I mean the webinar.